All right, and I've started a new recording. Let me go to here, not here. Oh, is everything out of order? Am I tripping? It is. I hate when that happens. Sometimes I reboot it, my, my, my browser windows are all out of order. And it it's like, come on. That's not the one I want. That's the one I want. All right. Class builders. Now I did play a little bit of this just to test like how well it's emulated because for the longest time I couldn't play Dragon Quest Builders. The Dragon Quest Builders 2 I have, right, on Steam. I haven't played it, but I wanted to play the first one. And the game was really it was released for PS3. Great, I can emulate that. Only in Japan. It was released for PS4, can't really emulate that, right? It was released for Switch. Can emulate it, but the game was not it did not work. And it was released for Vita. Can't emulate that. Then they started releasing Vita emulators. I got it to work in Vita, but it was so terrible and unplayable. Same thing with Switch, but the most recent Yuzu updates have um, really just like, I played like about maybe five, 10 minutes of this game and it worked beautifully. So I'm familiar with the beginning. Um, here it is. I just gotta remember the buttons are different because it's a switch. Like when they say A button, they mean B button, you know? And can one of you guys like verify for me that the um, title of the stream and the category of the stream have changed. Thank you. So this follows after Dragon Quest One, the bad ending. When you come to the end of Dragon Quest One, the Dragon Lord asks you if you'd like to join him and that you will rule half the world. And this is a sequel to Dragon Quest One, assuming that the hero, Aleph, did in fact take that deal. I already did Fantasy Star One though. Hey, you tell me. You caught me just in time to start Dragon Quest Builders. And this is this is our duty. I would be really surprised if Aleph and Shining Force wasn't named after the Dragon Quest character. So it's like it's like Minecraft, right? That's that's my understanding is it's like Minecraft. I've never actually played Minecraft, but I just it's Dragon Quest I play. <laughs> it's a Dragon Quest game, I gotta play it. Oh, Elephant Shining Force is a woman, okay. Minecraft with more structure? I would hope for. Oh no. Did you uh, take a COVID test just to be safe, Hotome? That's good. If it's just stuff he knows and right he knows, it's probably not RSV either. This is my first time watching this. Like, I played a little bit of the game to test it, but I haven't watched the whole intro. Sweet. Okay. Um, I want to like delete the save 
but I don't know. I sh maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, this is the intro. Okay, we're good. But all right. So thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant thee dominion over half this world. Thou wishest not for half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Uh, now see, it's giving me the name G. I, I, I named him G. Here, let me just see if I can... I don't want him to be named G. Right? Like, come on. I just made, like, a quick account, right, just so I could test the game. But we gotta give this guy, like, an actual name, right? Like, he's gotta be Carl or something. No, shut up, Rubus. At this point, it might be faster to close the emulator. But... What do you mean I can't use that now? I'm just trying to get into a menu. All right, hold on. I'm going to reset. I don't know how to... I got to, like, make a new guy, right? Because that was my test one. You know, I had COVID and I had RSV, and I can say that RSV was worse for me, at least. That's probably because I was vaccinated, right? Here, maybe game settings. Customize character. Well, maybe customize character let me rename him, at least. There's a male and a female. I, li I like the male version better, to be honest. You know why? Because he, like he looks like the dude from Dragon Quest II. I don't care about all this stuff. I just want to rename... Okay, okay. I can name him Carl. All right. Wait, let, let's go ham and Carl with a K, right? Let's do that, right? Carl with a K. Let's try pressing the correct buttons. It looks like you can only have one save. If you think the text looks a little weird, it's... It is the emulator, and the, initially the text was completely unreadable. That was, like, the main issue. But, uh, yeah. Now it's good. No emotional... Wait, you used that whole jar of pickles? That looked like a big jar of pickles. Or was it mostly empty, and it just looked full? Hey, that's the best kind of sandwich when it's just a whole ass loaf of bread, right? Cow. All right, we, we, we've seen this part, so we can... Power past it. So the text is still a little weird, but it's mo it's readable. It's mostly fixed, and you can like actually play the game. Carl, at long last, I have found you. Hmm. Maybe the sandwich was bigger than I realized. You know, a single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be re rebuilt. Arise, my child, your destiny awaits. Ah, oh, what? Huh? Huh, oh, I was dead. Carl, my child, you have finally awoken. You did mention that, yes. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? I see, so you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving! Use the left stick to move around, just like in every other game. We gotta jump. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. Carlisle? You do mean hi. It's not low. You can fulfill your role. 
Carl, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Greg's having a real one. Here, my child, take these white petals. You could use them to restore your vitality. Yeah, I am at, like, less than half health. Good. Carl, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at the tree stump. Use the white petals you gather to prepare some healing cream. 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 Wonderful! You have made your first creation. Was that that nightmare mode, whatever the fuck guy? Carl, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build things from raw materials. Now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press X to use the tools and items. Oh, him? Really? Okay. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. Cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. Cream. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Carl, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your your young shoulders. You must... You see my guy talking, hmm? Well, yes, I quite understand you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. Not the first choice for somebody to be going in a dragon quest, I think. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. It's basically a cypress stick, I guess. Right. Well done, Carl. Within that humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump before, as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, so too must they build weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. You can make a hill out of them? Nice. Carl, my child. You have been entrusted with a divine mission to... Hmm? I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you rather not learn more of... <sighs> Very well. I guess Rubus is a little long-winded, right? To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press A to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Alright. There we go. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since the world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost this power, they have awaited the coming of... <laughs> coming. Of one with such an ability to create. Carl, my child. The dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Duty. Carl? You're not... asleep, are you? Huh? Perhaps it's best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Alright. So... Oh. Ah, there we go. Ugh. I need ten of them. One more. Well done, Carl. That should be enough. Press X to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. It's kind of like the hood that Alan in Dragon Quest II wore. 
I, was, I wanted to break that rock. All right. getting used to the controls here. It's not exactly the way that I would lay it out, but... Large white mushrooms. And I think that would be really bad. Well done, Carl. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create, until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Carl, my child, you've been entrusted with a momentous mission. I like the act razor comparison. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of Alephgard arise once more. Cottage core, oh god. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come to, as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. One second, guys. Oh. Uh-huh. Did I not say yes? I must have. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right. Oh, now I'm covering the chat. Sorry, I'm just trying to move things around. No doubt you will fulfill your duty over the, in the course of doing so. So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role you're about to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I, too, I do watch over you always. Oh, and Carl, there is one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Cantlin Plains, the Ravaged Realm. So we're starting in Cantlin. The land you see before you was once known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications. And there was a golem protecting it, too, right? But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. Carl, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alephgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow unto you a gift. Ah! Ah! Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Catlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Catlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Sweet. Oh. Fuck out of my way. Jumping's for plebs. Oh, alright, that hurt. I didn't realize how steep it was. Can I like smack the crap out of the trees and not with this weapon? Oh, there's a workbench, but let's uh how do I Oh here we go, here we go. Oh. Falling's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Yeah, you start punching trees in Minecraft, right? When you plant your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Okay. Oh, and you could save it. Might as well. Oh, hey, what's up? Hold on. 
How do I talk to... Oh, you gotta be closer. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. <coughs> it's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Residence request. <coughs> Bloody hell. If a resident of your town has an exclamation mark over their head, it means they have something to ask you. Talk to them to see what they want. Alright, well, she has a quest, but she's also, like, walking away. Hey, can we, can we talk? What's that? You're the one that planted that flag there? Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm Cotton Eye Joe. You don't remember? The goddess told you to come here? Well, since when is Rubus, Rubus the goddess? She's the spirit of the land. Come on. So, you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in the slightest. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Carl, my child, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Catlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Little remains of this dilapidated house save the door. Repair it by filling the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L and below you by holding R. Hold down X and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and these two blocks of and these blocks of earth and make this ruined house livable once more. Sweet. Fix the house. All right. Oh. All right. So we just do like that. Okay. Nope, not that. Come on. Why won't it... Oh, that's nice weird. You can punch down a tree in real life, you could probably rip a phone book in half. <laughs> the phone book thing is way easier though, right? Let's be real. Alright, I've completed her request. Here she comes. That's incredible! Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it. With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. I mean, I could be more than one thing, right? But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. Oh, I got some white petals. Ba 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 ba! Yeah, it really is very easy to do that, right? All right, she's got another quest. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. This old house. How did you do it? What? You've got the power to build new things. What does build mean? Now, your house has no roof. <laughs> Carl, my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain its power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. But I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you'll find a mason's workstation. You could use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Alright, sweet. I got a broken branch. I want a torch. <laughs> I've never seen it rain in Dragon Quest, I don't think. Well, I didn't really want five torches, but alright. Wait, where'd she go? Oh, oh, she's like there. Okay, that's incredible. Hey, where'd you find that torch? You didn't find it? You built it? Ah! So that's what building means. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks. I think I understand. Sort of. Meanwhile... Oh, what? That's fucked up! Next we're gonna make keys that don't crumble after one use. 
Do you think we might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, see if I could find some. Okay, cool. Give me another broken... Okay, she has another quest. Let's see. I just realized something. You never told me your name. Carl? Pfft, what kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you'll be having special powers at all. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? I think you just did. Anyway, Carl. You still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. A room is complete if it has two... If it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun is set. Press X to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, place the torch inside the house. Just, like, put it up on the wall? Like that? Not enough space? I'm not sure. Can I just... Oh, okay, there we go. I've built an empty room. Oh, that's right. There were certain areas in Dragon Quest XI where it was raining. You're right. Wow, look at that. All I did was put it down. Like, you already knew about the torch. It's not that fucking amazing. Brilliant. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Carl. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Well, I mean, like, that, that's sort of like the same thing, like the same vibe as Actraiser, really, right? But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? I think you just did. Anyway, thanks, Carl. Now we have somewhere to live. We. Oui. Why don't you give me a seat of life? Sweet. What makes a room a room? For a room to be recognized, it must have walls at least two blocks high, a door, and a light source. If it doesn't have that, it's no room at all. Can I just use this? Give me more health, right? All right, what do you got now? Hey, Carl, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep on at night? I feel like I'm being groomed. I know, maybe you could build something. Carl, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. It'd be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. This is going weird places. This time, Carl, I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses, young Pippa requests. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Carl, you were right. Alright. Eureka, Carl works out how to make straw mattress. Alright. That's not what I wanted. Um, so, I need grassy leaves, which I have none. I thought maybe the... No? Hmm. He's gonna wind up in a shallow grave. This looks grassy. No, it just gave me a stick. Hmm. Where to get grassy leaves? Mowing service? You're right, though. There! Okay, those kinds. I see a slime over there. Probably should take care of him. Oh, really? Oh, really? My word? A plumberry. Dodds. How many grassy leaves did I need? I forget. Make two beds. Yeah, I get it. So I'm sleeping with you. So I need one more grassy leaf to make two beds. Yeah, you gotta have slimes. 
Yeah, it's this kind of grass that... Oh, some more slimes over here. I don't know if there's, like, experience points in this, right? Or if you just level up with your base. Well, if it's, like, Dragon Quest, um... Enemies should get stronger at night. Not not that enemies are stronger at night, rather, but that more stronger enemies appear at night, rather. Oh, wrong button. That's one. And that's two. Alright, cool. Let's go put them in the room. Kind of a crappy bed, but what are you gonna do, right? Oh, hello. Uh, hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The empty room is destroyed. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. I was just trying to clear the grass out of here. Alright, let's put the torch in the corner. That seems like a better place for it, right? the beds here. This seems like an alcove that's like a bedroom, right? Put one there, right? And one there. Carl builds his first basic bedroom. A crappy bed for... I think that I think the houses are not going to have roofs because of the way that it was in Dragon Quest 1 where you know, you, you're just supposed to imagine that there was a roof there. Alright, basic bedroom. bedroom. Sleeping quarters for two Made from the most modest of materials, increases residents' maximum hit points by 10%. Here she comes. Wow, look at that. That's something, ain't it? Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Carl. I mean, it's not very good, but, you know, we're in the wilderness. What are you going to do about it, right? Whether it's night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you, and more powerful monsters emergent force, that's what I figured. When night falls, you would do well to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. Carl, my child, you discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I bestowed onto you, it seems you also bear the special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is fun so far, I admit. This is a wondrous power you have. I shall no doubt prove it shall no doubt prove invaluable to your to you in your quest to rebuild this city. Carl, hello, Carl. Was the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. Uh, you've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Carl. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Uh, I'm the only one getting. Carl begins to feel time passing by. Okay, so time didn't pass till now. We built this city. We did a zombie sneak attack song where, where June had me do this. So, we built this titty. Ooh, ah, ah. We built this titty. Ooh, ah, ah. We built this titty on cock and balls. Uh, all right, she's got another quest. Carl, can I ask you something? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? I got some berries. Uh, huh? No! It's not just me. That's not my tummy rumbling. You must be hearing things again. But anyway, look. There are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. We built this city with sticks and dirt. Can you go collect some plumberries for me, Carl? Please? We'll need at least five for a decent meal. Alright, I've seen the plumberries. I need five. I only have two, so let's go get five. Get three more. Alright. Oh, wrong button. Uh, uh, get out of here. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, they coming. What is that? Milk blossom bud? Okay. There's a bunch of trees in this direction. That's where I'm gonna go. I can see some plum berries there. What are these again? Blue goo. Oh god, there's a drackey. Oh. Grass seeds. The drackey. 
Stick and move, baby. Coral lily buds. Now that's enough berries. Yep, slimes and drackeys are the most basic ass enemies possible. Oh, he got me. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. Or, uh, I'm starting to wonder about that myself. Well, I think I just talked to her with the beret. Yeah, she got the check mark. Oh. Oh. Wow, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? Yep, you can. They taste like burning. Hooray! Thanks, Carl. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. Carl's tummy starts to rumble. Ba, 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 ba. Sure, take them all. I'll just starve. Right? The hunger meter. It is a hunger meter. Okay. As time passes, you'll become hungrier and hungrier. You can see how full you are by checking the hunger meter in the top left corner of the screen. And fill yourself up again by eating food. Okay, cool. I did get hit, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, what's up? You know, Carl, I've been thinking. Yeah, I thought I heard a loud honk. You run around smashing up all the trees and grass and stuff and use the materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're going to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Why? Well, it's a secret. <laughs> but you should still make something to put all your stuff in. Oh, nice. We'll find out, right? Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage the resources you gather would serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve as such a role? Make something you can put things in. A chest! Okay. Alright, so we gotta make a chest. There we go. Carl made a chest. Oh, that's incredible. Wow, you made a chest. Mo gonna be like, chest? <laughs> now you could put all the stuff you've collected in there and go collect even more stuff. You know, Carl, there's something I always wondered. What exactly has happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. Oh, no, God. Speaking of chess, how about you and me? How about we uh, push the straw mats together? Good God. Ever since, it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anybody but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything could happen. We should do, every any ugh. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. We need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. All right, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I'll have to think about what we need to build, and you'll build it. You're gonna help me, aren't you, Carl? Aren't you? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Rick Harrison. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Carl, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn, please? Pretty please? It would seem that your example has awoken young Pippa the will to build. Blueprints such as the one she has gifted us unto us may be laid on the ground by pressing X, press minus to view the plan in more detail. To complete a blueprint, ensure that you place all the necessary items exactly as shown. Be sure to build rooms with, within the bounds of your base, lest the inhabitants of your town fail to recognize them. For the workbench, you could use that mason's workstation near the flag. 
You probably have to bash it about a bit before you can move it. Oh, and the room will need a door to get in and out, and a torch or something to light it up. But you can make things like that from raw materials, right? Carl obtains Pippa's picture. Eureka! Carl works out how to make a straw door. Alright, right, so they're talking about pressing minus? Oh, I see. And how does... No, that's, that's plus. So do I just place it down? Not enough space. Clear some space, right? It's uh, whatever the frame rate is. So this game actually runs at 60 frames per second, so that's what I'm running it at. Quite understanding how that works. Well, I'm gonna need 48 earth, so I should go collecting earth. Well, that's quite a bit, right? That's a busting up the country, right? So yeah, I mean, user really just runs in whatever resolution the game, whatever, whatever frame rate the game's supposed to run in. But not every Switch game is created equal, so some will run in 30 frames a second, some will run in 60. So I wonder if I should collect all the materials first and then try to make it. You know. So also need a bonfire. Nope, not trying to do that. Now we have a bonfire. She was talking about bashing this up and moving it? So now I can put the workstation in here? Or near here, I guess, would be best? Okay, that's cool. And oh, oh, the, the workstation. All right, that's cool. So, all right, that's cool. We have it. We need a straw door and a chest. Oh, wrong button. No, not the mattress. All right, so. I kind of want to move it slightly, though. I kind of wanted to put it, like... It's not the easiest thing to do, is it? I can't tell if it's within the bounds or not like that, though. There we go. Yeah, that's within the bounds. Okay, cool. So... Oh, I'll be doing that. All right, so we gotta. I see what we gotta do. I get it. Oh no, Ben Shapiro. Oh no, not what I meant to do. Damn it! It's not giving me the the outline, you know. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. That's proper. Now, let's start doing this. Oh, wrong button. Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. I'm getting the hang of it, slowly but surely.
That looks good. Now we need the door. Which can go... Here. And a torch. Or something, hold on. Okay, the bonfire on the left... Bonfire, rather. Bonfire on the left, chest on the right. I, I'm digging this. This is cool. There we go. You. Carl constructs Pippa's picture. Stone Mason's Workshop. A room built for building that puts everything in a Masonic mood. <laughs> What's a Masonic mood? Residents will build furniture and materials and put them in the chest. Speaking of assholes, that guy from Coral last night, he never came back. He he slunk off after my last reply. So, you know, that's good, right? All right. Hooray! You built the workroom I asked for. Thanks, Carl. It's just like the one in my picture. Often the inhabitants of your town seek to assist your efforts by presenting you with blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or any other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use my new workshop to build all sorts of stuff. I think Elon knows that if he takes away the ability to block people, that kills the site immediately. I'll put it in all the chests at the end of the day, so you can take a look at the amazing things I made. I got a coarse cloth? Why does it look like a weapon? What is this? I'm trying to figure out what that is. Oh, don't be doing that. Uh, hold on. An old... Oh, it's, a, it's like a bolt of cloth. Okay. Hey, can we talk? Yeah, I, I, I blocked them pretty early on. Thanks again for the workroom, Carl. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. And then you know what it'll do, right? Then you know what it'll do? He'll make you pay for Twitter Blue to block people. Right? You can block me if you give me $8. Yeah, I started getting tweets and I'm like, I don't follow this fucker and I block him. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. 
The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious-looking man lurking around nearby. He looked a bit of a, he looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. I thought you said he was a weirdo, Pippa. I thought you said he was a weirdo. There you go. Yeah, I'm not paying. I usually just delete and repost, you know. He was on the other end of the mountains just the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Carl, and get him to join us. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you in finding out that which you seek. Press plus to take stock of your surroundings and search for the fellow of whom young Pippa spoke. Follow your compass. Okay. Oh, where is the compass? I don't see it. Oh, it only appears in bird's eye? Really? Oh, no, now it, it wasn't on the screen yet. All right, so it's in this direction. Oh, hello. It's a slime. Bro, oh, really? Yeah, I guess he thought people would just take this. Take it, right? Clump of mushrooms. Right. Ooh. Got him. Alright, so we're gonna have to get over this. Hmm. Okay. Where night falls. Yeah, I know about it. Can I... Well, it's nighttime soon. Maybe I should just go around the mountain. <laughs> when you... <laughs> when God was handing out wit, you thought he said zit. So you asked for seconds. Or something like that. I forget what, what it, the line was. Well, this certainly looks like a camp. The bonfire is burning brightly. It looks like it's been freshly stoked. Someone must be nearby. A new quest marker has appeared on the compass. Can I get these flowers? I'm gonna, um, eat? Fill up my... Alright, that's good. I looked at that and not a lot of people were saying leave, but, you know. Can the slime sleep at night? Or that one was sleeping at least. This guy ain't. What am I hearing? Oh my god, a chimera? Really? Nah, fam. Too early in this game to be fighting these chimeras. Watch out. Got him! Chimera feather. And we now have the recipe for chimera wing, which would take you back to your base, I guess, but. I'll find this dude, though. Whoa, I'm hearing magic! That's another chimera. Watch out. Hmm. Huh. You got mm, nah. Come on. Uh, got him. That looks like that's where my person is. These ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering, deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. He said, "Yeah, he said he'll step down as soon as he, as soon as he finds someone to take his place." Which it's not going to happen, right? The handwriting is so bad that Carl cannot summon up the will to read anymore. I 
can only sleep inside a proper room. Well, this is not what I was looking for, though. Oh! Couldn't see the guy. Watch out. Nothing lasts forever. Weapons and armor can only take so much punishment before they break. Make sure to build some spares in case of emergency. Oh, yeah! Look at that! There's a meter on that. I won't have a weapon soon. Gotta take it easy. Oh, there's a guy here. Found him. There's a Drackey there, though. Oh, God. Alright. Hello? Is <coughs> somebody there? Those rotten monsters have buried me alive. They've completely covered me in earth and I can't get out. <laughs> You're like, I ain't reading this shit that I wrote, right? Ah. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Hurry, my child. Use the L or R to aim your attacks above or below you. Guide your blows carefully and free this man from his earthen tomb. Oh. I wasn't trying to talk to you, sir. You good? Phew. Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny-looking face. Why you gotta talk shit? What? You say you're building a town near here? By my bushy beard, this is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help you rebuild it. Hmm? What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may take whatever strange face you like. I find my way into your town whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am Rollo, the proud owner of the most venerable of books, the Cantlin Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to this city of yours. Now lead the way. Oh, he joined? I gotta escort him back, it looks like. Can I? Hold on. I wanted the torch. Okay, let's go, dude. trying to get mixed up with monsters right now when my weapon's almost broken. Oh. Wait, is that... Oh, oh, never mind. Hold up. Make another cypress stick. Make like two of them, right? Alright, we good. Now I feel bad about it. Huh. There's weapon durability in this. Is he saying take me to your town? It's like the sun's coming up. And he can fight, okay. Sweet! I want that. Oh, I have too much shit, huh? Alright. Wait, what? Finny fun? What? Oh. Okay. I guess I've never heard that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, put stuff in a chest. Especially since I have a chest right now on me. Let's get back to the town. <laughs> I'm lucky till I play it. Find that funny man! I, I found him. My word, just look at this place. Hooray! A new friend! Ish. Alright, first things first. <laughs> You're sorry, David. Hey, you didn't make the song, right? You, you didn't make it like that. Haley Joel Osmond cannot sing at all? Oh dear. And they made him do it anyway. They couldn't get, like, a pitch singer, huh? To, to pitch in for him. 
Um, uh, there was something I wanted to do. Oh, oh, I know. Um, let's put that down there. Put that in there. Put that in there for now. Just give me some room, right? What is that icon on? Let me talk to him. By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming with life. So bad song, bad singer, just everything's bad. Well, I do believe that Cantlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Oh, I mentioned the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Carl. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Never expected it to be like this. Cool. Alright, it looks like she's got a quest. But I want to check inside her chest. Well, she's like, busying herself with that. Oh, no. Oh, she just put earth in there? Okay. Yay, you found someone to join our town. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. Oh, my. Donald Duck singing would be hilarious. But... But he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. And he must be really clever, too. I mean, he's got such a big, bushy beard, after all. You're a dumbass, Pippa. But anyway, now that we found a new friend, we can work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alifgard. I think we're going to make it the only city in all of Alifgard so far. Yeah, I saw that. He's got, like, a cocktail and a... And a... I mean, I don't have Instagram, but he told me about a cocktail and a record each time. Alright, she gave me a seat of life. Just use that right away. Give myself more health. Well, she doesn't ha seem to have a quest right now, but he has something. Alright. Carl, my friend, do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but it was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things, a gift that mankind lost so long ago. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicle speaks? The legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Ah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Ah oh, yes, Carl, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Well, the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the Chimera. Yeah, Chimera wing that dwell amid those mountains. The most convenient con contrivance that allows you to travel at blinding speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Carl, my child, you need only lay your hands on a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell, I already beat a few, so, dwell at the foot of the mountains fast by this place. Use, the, use your compass to find them that you might lose your way. All right, but I already have the thing. Can I just make it? Can I just make Chimera Wing? Oh, I need to make three of them, and it requires five. So I need 15 Chimera Wing. Chimera Feathers. Okay. It's actually telling me to go this direction. Because you don't want to kill anybody else makes sense. I mean, not really, but I get what you're saying. Ooh. Oh, damn, really? Slime got hands. Uh, uh, get the fuck out of here. So the chimeras appear in a specific area. I thought they were just like, you know, like coming out because it was nighttime. There's one. There we go. 
So I need 15 of those things. Oh, watch out. Can you get up here? Or? Yes, he can. Watch out. You can't have Dragon Quest without slimes. I'd be like... It's like a Mario game without Mario, you know? So I don't know... Ooh! When you break the weapon, does it just go to the next one that you have? Or do you have to equip it yourself, I wonder? This, this is pretty much on its last legs. Watch out. There's another one. Yeah, Dragon Quest without slimes is just it's not good. There's another one. It still hasn't broken. It's been at the bottom of its meter for a while. Okay. I don't know what that does, but alright. Whoa! That's 13. Yeah, it's like the the thing's completely low or down, but oh, but it's not. It hasn't broken or anything. I wonder if they like recharge or something. Like if you're not using. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, it wouldn't be Dragon Quest without slimes. I only need. Oh, I'm done actually. Oh, watch out. All right, let's head back. Yup, the slimes are pretty much the logo, you know? It's, it's like the universal symbol of, you know, this is Dragon Quest. What is she doing? And now he's doing it too. So we're gonna make. Oh. That was me. He's like, I thought it was just some blue, dumb blue smiley face. As Satomi put it, you don't go to a country without knowing the local religion. Goddess above, this is a chimera wing. It is just as the Cantlin Chronicles describes. And there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long-lost power of construction. You really are the builder. That was funny. Oh my god, that's the song. That's the Sword of Kings. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alephgard have waited for this day to come. All over our faces and our chests. And in, in his beard, too. The day that benevolent, benevolent Rubus would send the builder to save us. Carl, my child, you need only to touch a chimera's feather to know that you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you, and knowledge is sure to expand further. Keep an eye on your surroundings, child. If you see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. Carl, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. First, we must complete the glorious restoration of this once great city of Cantlin. 
And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. But those si- <laughs> He's like, yeah, there's the Master Sword from Zelda. I'm like, no, 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 no. How you going? In the Square Enix Cafe. Makes sense, right? But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a, ret a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mysteries of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that your powers and my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Carl. <laughs> I think he popped a boner at the end there. Alright, she's got a quest. Hey, get back here. Damn it. Damn it! There we go. You know, Carl, I've been so starving lately I could eat my own head. That would be impressive. All the building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking. If we had something to cook with, we can make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you can build to cook things on? Like a stove? If you think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So yeah, make us a room to cook in. Alright. Make me a kitchen. Cook fire. Alright. Building room for the ground up. A room must have a two block high wall. Yeah, we know that. Gather ingredients you need and try building one. But why would I do that when I have rooms? Oh, I gotta eat. Hold on. Is this also food? Nope, you plant them. Alright, never mind. Grass seed. Can you... You don't eat the mushrooms. Alright. I should go out and search for some more food, right? Because I, I just used up all my food. So we should find ourselves some... There's some berries over there. So I have them, you know? I mean, even though we're creating a kitchen, I want to make sure that I'm not going to, like, starve while I'm making a kitchen. There we go. That's helpful. Oh, there's a bunch over here. Found a regular old smorgasbord. This should be good for now. Get out of here. Alright, let's sleep in the bed, and then we'll uh, look at what this quest, what we have to do. Oh, really? No, they're using up the both beds. I guess I gotta make a third bed. We do have a third person, right? That's fucked up. He didn't even ask if he could do that. The third man. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is like the bedroom, so we'll just do that. I'm not trying to talk to you. Stop talking. Oh, but... With them there, it's difficult to... I saw it for a second. Half a second it was there. The option to sleep. There we go. Okay. Like, bro, what? 
He was the third man the whole time. The third man was the friend we made along the way. Give me that. Alright. So you want a kitchen, huh? Wait, do I, so do I have like a blueprint for that? Or, like, what's the deal? Oh, that ain't it. Well, you were just saying that a room with a chest can have... That's not what I'm trying to do. But wait, where'd the chest go? I was trying to move the chest, but now it's not there. I think that just collects the stuff in it. Alright, my bad. Um... No, I need that. Pippa, can you just, like, fuck off? There we go. I'll put all this, like, farming stuff away for now, you know? Because I don't need it. I'm thinking I'll put a chest in the other room and make a kitchen in there, right? Now you're talking about a kitchen. Uh, cook fire. So I need five broken branches, three grassy leaves, and a bonfire. I'll start by making a bonfire. I need I need a bunch of branches. Okay. Let's go out looking for branches. There's a big forest over in this direction. I can probably get a bunch of them. Kind of a relaxing game. I don't gotta worry about no zombies blowing me up either, right? There's one. Fuck out of here. Try to move. place to get branches, all right. Watch out. What's... Oh, it's a bud. It is a chill game. I'm digging it, though. All right, let me head back. That's probably enough. Get the ones I see on the way, right? I just gotta like get used to the controls, is all, you know. That's like the main thing. Make me a kitchen. Alright, so. Hmm. 
doing here, sir? So I need... I need more grassy. Well, for, I need a bonfire, so let's make that. Alright. Also, I need to... Stuff that I don't need right now. Alright, so I got the bonfire. But I also need one more grassy leaf. That's easy to find. I forgot that I needed that. There we go. Grassy leaf. Ah! Oh my god, what are you talking about, Rolo? Get out of my way. So let's make a cook fire. And then just put that... She said, in a room with a chest, but I think I'll put it over here. Alright, that's what I'm feeling. Carl builds his first crude kitchen. Crude kitchen, a primitive kitchen for the preparation of unfussy fare. Residents will cook food and put it in the chest. Plus 200 points, nice. Here she comes. Blimey, you did it. You made me a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thank you, Carl. Scrummy. And that chest is perfect. If I make anything really, really tasty, I'll put it in there for you so you can try a bit too. I got some plumberries out of the deal. Wow, look at that. All right. All right, she doesn't seem to have a quest. He does, okay. Scrummy's probably for, short for scrumptious, but sounds gross. It does sound like weird, right? Like, what the fuck are they thinking? Well, well, well. By my bulbous belly, it seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. What say you test them out and make me something to eat? What? Make it yourself? You'll build a whole kitchen for Pippa? But you won't even make me a single measly meal? Carl, you wound me. I thought we were friends. Too close to scummy, yeah. It's like a mixture of scrumptious and yummy, you know? Maybe it's British slang or something, right? I'm gonna Google the word scrummy and see what comes up. Just for funsies, right? Scrummy. Let's see. It is, an, it is British, yeah. It just means delicious, as you said, but I just wanted to see if it was a British slang. It is. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious-looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I got a few of those already. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. We have an agreement, friend. So he wants three cooked mushrooms? All right. That's an extremely barrel thing to say, right? I don't know how many I'm going to need. Let's find out. He wants three servings of cooked mushrooms. Oh, I can make oak and clubs now? That's got to be better, right? I'll make like three of them. That's better than cypress stick, right? Hold up. Because you'd have up to five. Can I put those in here? Or I really can't, huh? Well, I could just discard them then. Because I don't need those. So I got a better weapon. Alright, so let's see. And Ragged Rags is new? Is that better than what I have? Let's find out. Oh, it's the same exact thing. But this is all beaten up, so... Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm liking it. 
It's such an extreme... Oh, but you'd have to use the cook fire to make it. What am I thinking of? Hey, what's up? Shrooms on a stick. So I need just one. Uh, all right. That's gross, but all right. Gotta make three of them. All right. Carl, my friend, do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted marsh mushrooms? The fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors. By my growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, yeah, all right. Mmm, mmm, oh, mmm. Marvelous work, Carl. We shall have to rename you The Cooker. <laughs> the Cantlin Chronicle covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals are of particular... Pardon? You want to see it? Yourself? The Cantlin Chronicle? With your own two eyes? I'm sorry, Carl, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it around in front of anyone that asks. And besides, the totem is written in an ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. However, I have not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its former greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. But fear not, my friend. I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you will be the first to know. Okay. And as for these mushrooms, it is only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors, too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. So I got one of them back. Alright, cool. I mean, whatever. And he's got another quest. What? Have I finished reading that book yet? Learn some patience, young man. I made quite clear that you would be the first to know of any secrets I can uncover. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle will take time, Carl, and our work on restoring the city has only just begun. I suggest that, while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild the city to its former greatness and prove yourself the builder you claim to be. By completing rooms and placing them within the items you create, you can increase the level of your base. But be wary that you do not place decorations more than two blocks above the floor, for such items will not count towards your points total. Now go, my child, fill your town with buildings and those buildings with furnishings, and see what your new home flourish. Carl, pay attention. Now, can you think of anything we could use to decorate these new rooms that you're about to build? A light bulb went off. A pot! Okay. Room for improvement. Decorate the rooms in your base with furniture and other items to add points to your base meter. Fill your rooms with decorative items and take your base to a whole new level. I'm getting that. Create what you wish from the pot you just invented. A straw mattress you're talking about. It sounds like they just want me to level up the base. Increase the level. Okay. Well, let's see about making a pot. I can totally make that. Make a few of them, actually, right? More than one at a time. Let's see. I'll make as many as possible with X. Now we're talking. I think I'll put some pots in the other room. Oop. I didn't really need that, but okay. Probably should just create like a new room or at least like you know what I mean? Let's see. Like this could be a small room of its own, right? I don't have any earth left though, I gotta go find some. Let's get some earth. Oh, 
on me. Oh, that's how you switch between weapons. All right. You can also do that. That's cool. You are hungry, though. Well, you're out of the mouth-fucking sandwich, but I'm sure you can come up with something, right? Oh, so that's what happens. Alright, I get it. Like, this could be like a really small room, right? I need a door, though. I don't know why I can't put equipment in here, but... Whatever. Alright. Like a chest, too. Oh, I had one. And I need a door. Which I would need more grassy leaves. Here we go. It's a specific type of leaf that gives it to you, you know? I love how it, at night it goes from the um, Dragon Quest 1 overworld music to Dragon Quest 1 dungeon music. That's probably good, right? Uh, Shirley Phelps' granddaughter, right? It's not the best look, right? Oh, it needs a light source, too. I forgot about that. Let's make this a... I, I changed my mind about something. Let's make this a bit bigger. Right? Oh, Fred Phelps' granddaughter, rather. I mean, some of those kids turned out all right, but still, it's like, hmm. I had torches. What am I saying? Thinking. Oh, I have a. You know, something about me is a little bit curious as to like what this interview, like what 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 it's going to be. I'll probably like read or something, but like you know, it's going to be bad, right? All right, we built an empty room. That's a level up. That's what I was looking for. So that should fulfill the quest, right? Yeah. Get up. Wonderful work, Carl. I'm impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your powers are becoming ever greater. Yeah, right. That That's what it's going to be. You know, she, I never meant to upset anyone. You know it's going to be terrible. She's an ass. Carl, my child, no matter how many monsters you defeat, you will grow no stronger. Only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear might, will your might as a warrior increase. You are the builder, my child, and it is by building at this base that your true strengths will be revealed. I'm sorry to say, though, that I've made scant progress in deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle. I dare say it will be some time before... By my sensitive ears, did you hear that? Oh, got a seat of life. All right, so he's got like a battle thing, so I guess this is going to be a fight of some sort. Carl, I have the most terrible tidings. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack our great city in force. We must protect Cantlin at all costs. Carl, you must prepare for defense against the coming assault. Coming. 
But fear not, I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall do my duty by protecting dear Pippa and our beloved home from harm. Rolo speaks the truth, my child. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are heading here in droves. This town is the seed of all Alephgard's restoration. It must not be allowed to fall in the hands of monsters. There's nothing, right? It's just going to be an amusement, I think. With an oaken club in hand... She would have to, like, just basically recant everything. And then still it would be years before anybody would trust her, really. Healing cream to tie through, through your onslaught. You must drive back the Dragon Lord's foul. All right, I have the open cloud. I should make some healing cream. Uh, well, let's make some healing cream first. Hold on. That's a good idea. I don't have any right now. So your only choice is, like, make one or make as many as possible, huh? That's fine. I'll make as many as I can. Now I got plenty of healing cream. All right, let's start this. I guess it's like a raid. Oh my god. I didn't even hear about that one. Let's do it. This is your true, true battle, Carl, but fear not. For I know you will prevail. Here we go. Battle begins. Where are the monsters? Over here. Skeletons! Nah. Nah. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Gotta jump away. Got his ass. Get around to the other side. Get around to the other side. Dick. I don't know, even that would come off as, like, fake, I think. It would take many, many years. Well done, my child. You have saved Cantlin from the monster's audacious advances. She'd have to completely, like, basically renounce everything she said. Jesus. As hope wells in the town's people's hearts, so too will your banner of hope grow. Blanketing the land with ever more warm and tender light. Wait, does that mean the base grows? But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord's vile vassals. The monsters fear that, should the people of Alephgard band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. Yeah, because in the United States, to prove libel, you have to prove that the person is saying something that they know to be untrue for the specific purpose of, um... Gani, it's enough! of uh, de defamation. Now doubt these beasts will launch yet more offensives ear long in an attempt to crush this beacon of hope. You must protect this place, my child, whatever it takes, no matter what my matter of brutish behemoth arises. Hmm? You do not know if you are equal to the task? In fact, you do not really understand what this task I have given you is all about? You just want to build things, not fight the monsters? At this very moment, that may, mel that may well be so. Gunny, that's enough! But as you come to know more of the people here, you'll realize that with great power comes great responsibility. I've done all I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends and restore the city of Cantlin to its former greatness. I must leave you now, but I know that we shall meet again when your work here is done. Until then, know that I d do watch over you always. He won't stop, what's he doing? Blue tablet fragments. Interesting. That'll teach them. I got a bunch of coarse cloth from the skeleton. I need to empty out the inventory a bit. Well, this I should probably just eat. Okay. Mm, 
interesting. It does make you wonder what happened, right? You have something to say. Who are you? Wait, hold on. Who are you? I saw a great shaft. <laughs> I saw a great shaft. I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. There's three people in here. Are they uh... But who are you? Maybe she felt she could do more good elsewhere? I don't know. And what are you doing in a place like this? I beg your pardon? You're building a city? With cock and balls? Uh, good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you have another king coming. I hate to burst your bubble, boy, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Speaking of which, I'm tired out after a trek. I'll stay here and rest a while if you don't mind. The name's LaRouche. LaRouche the douche. Shan't be staying long, I don't think, but in any case, Pleased to make your acquaintance. It says he moved in, so he's staying, right? Brilliant work showing those blighters who's boss, Carl. But it seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I had seen an artifact of similar design in the Cantlin Chronicle and Man of action that I am, I investigated further. I wonder if we're using those to make a golem. If you were to stick those fragments together again... Oh, it's a teleportal. I believe they would form a device known as a teleportal. Apparently, you can't just plonk that thing onto the ground and, hey, presto. It'll whisk you away in a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. For a builder like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Carl, do you think you can glue that teleportal back together again? Repair the teleportal. Okay, we can make a blue teleportal now. Let's see about actually making that happen. So I probably need these tag. Alright. Actually, hold on a second. I want to see if they put anything in that other chest. I kind of put the chest in a place that's hard to get at, huh? Hold on, let me, um... Oh, no. I thought so. Uh, let's see. All right. else new in here other than the teleportal? No, okay. So I would need um, 45 earth and 10 blue goo. So let's go out beating the crap out of the earth and some slimes. I have 10 blue glue. Blue goo? Wait, I have it. Let me see that again. Yeah. So I just need 45 earth. Is there any earth in here? There's exactly the amount I need. Look at that. Nice. Way to teach somebody what not to do, right? Yeah, we have a teleportal. By my baby blue eyes, you've done it, Carl. You've made a teleportal. Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you're sure to find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quickly now. Plop that teleportal down on the ground and hop through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, Carl, before you head off, there is something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleportal up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Fair enough. Alright, I need to empty out inventory here, though. Alright. I also had an idea that I should save it. Been a bit since I've done that. Well, this game runs well, I gotta say, for something that wasn't running at all before. Uh, how about we put that, like... I'm 
just gonna put it like right here. A portal to another land opens up. It's not exactly what I... It's not exactly where I wanted to put it. Oh, you gotta move! Kids, move! They won't move. That's where I wanted it. By my athletic physique, the teleportal is activated. That mystical swirling light is positively hypnotic. When a teleportal shines like that, it shows the path that is open to a place where all your dreams can come true. Carl, my friend, there is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through that glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to bring that most how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant mallet. The Cantlin Chronicle describes the giant mallet as a fearsome hammer strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and wood aside, you are bound to find a veritable bounty of new materials wherever this teleportal takes you. And with new materials comes ideas for items. Items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as hammer hoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure they could tell you how to build one. By kicking their ass. Once you've learned the recipe, waste no time, build one straight away, and show it to me. Okay, cool. I'm pretty far away. Oh, I'm on like a different island because Cantlin's off in that direction. Okay. Let's see if we can... Whoa, hello. There's an ancient sheet of paper lying at the bottom of the chest. Carl carefully unfolds the note and begins to read it. Wanderer of the great plains of Cantlin, I bestow this blue Nava globe onto thee. Set it firmly upon the ground and ever shall its guiding light be reflected upon thy compass. If thou wishest to return to a place with confidence, whether it be a place of safety or opportunity, simply set this globe before thee and let it guide thy way. To whosoever readeth this missive, may Rubus watch over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Grayness, Catlin Brigade of Guards. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Let's see if we can find us some hammer hoods. There's one. I see she slimes as well. Oh, hello. Lump of fur, and I've been... Okay. Leather armor. We can make leather armor. Okay, cool. And leather shield. Alright, so we definitely want to upgrade to all, all that stuff. And orange oil. And now we can make wayfarer's clothes. Very cool. And magic dye. Watch out. see a sign there. Oh. And I got whopping needle. So I can make a stuffed hammer hood for whatever reason. That I would want to do that. I'm bored. Alright, there's a person over there. Ooh, chill. That's a big hammer hood. It's much bigger than all the others. Watch out. Oh. Found our first leather sack. She slime is. Carl obtains a pot of butter beans, and I can make boiled butter beans. My inventory is kind of full, right? So, what does this do exactly? I'm not sure what it does. Like, it said place it down to navigate or something, but I don't know what it actually does. It doesn't seem to do anything. 
But I got like too much stuff. There's a person there and I'll totally want to talk to them, but first things first, right? Oh, that's good. You hope to hear that. Alright. I can make this. All I need is a cord. I don't know where to get cords. Looks like I'd need cords for and wood. So, wood is probably you have to take down trees with a hammer, right? But we don't have the hammer recipe yet. Alright, I don't know what this is for. It says, when placed, its location is shown on your compass. Oh, okay. Well, I really don't need that right now. Yeah, I'm going to take anything related to building stuff. For now. Or food. All right. There's definitely a person there. So we'll see if we can, um, you know, find that person. There's not going to be anything in there, right? It's weird that it stayed closed, that it went back to being closed. Oh, watch out. Skeleton. No. Uh. Hammerton Heights Visitor Center. Oh, it's a hammer hood. Strike, strike, strike me down. It's a human. What do you think you're doing, barging in here like you own the place? You've got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. Nice, you're getting close there again. So, what do you want? What? You want to take a look at my tool? Crazy. But, 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 we only just met. Oh, you're talking about this hammer! That was totally a dick joke. If you want to know how to make a giant mallet, Clobberine is the hammer hood to ask. She shouldn't be hard to find. There's a bonfire on the roof of her house, so just look for that. Tool! Here, human, take, take, take this. Consider it a sign of our newfound friendship. A signpost? Okay. A bon All right, there's a bonfire up in that direction, so I guess that's where I'm going. Hunger meters to get a little low. There we go. Oh, got a ghost. Oops. Fuck out of here. Dick. <laughs> Thanks for the clip. Want to see me too? Tool. Are you Clobberina? One of you has got to be, right? Clobberina knows all sorts of stuff. She told us there used to be humans everywhere, and they were always horrible to us monsters. Then the Dragon Lord came and chased, chased, chased all the humans away and made things nice and peaceful like they are now. I'm so happy I wasn't born back when the humans were in charge. Clobberina, Clobberina, it's a horribly smelly human here. They're useless, worthless. I wish they'd hurry up and go extinct. But... If you can't wait for the, that happy day, how about I wallop, wallop, wallop this one for you right here? <laughs> uh, you didn't hear any of that, did you? I never said nothing, honest. Well, bless my soul. If it isn't a human. I'm Clobberina, the head hammerhood. I suppose you can call me the hammerhead. What might a poor beleaguered human want with me? Mercy me, you want to know how to make, or we make our giant mallets? I'm sorry, my dear. I know it must be hard being a human. But you won't turn into a hammerhood that easy. 
And besides, these hammers are our most precious treasure. The recipe's a closely guarded secret. It wouldn't be right to tell every Tom, 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 Dick, and Harry how to make them. Come now, dearie, don't be like that. Perhaps there's some way we could... Oh, I know. My roof has got three great big holes in it. The wind comes right through, and it plays havoc with my old bones. Fix her roof. Okay. And don't get me started on the rain. I get soaked to the skin. Ow, oh, catch, catch, catch my death one of these days, I tell you. A few block, block, blocks of straw floor. Straw floor, okay, not earth. Would plug those holes right up. I do it myself, but not as young as I once was. Well, how about it? Do you think you could fix my roof? You could use the ivy around here to make the cord you need to bundle up the straw into blocks. Once you've built up some straw floor blocks, just pop them in the holes. If you did fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet, just like mine. Interesting. What I need is a workbench in this area. Oh, another ghost. And a skeleton. Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't mean to take all that damage. That sucks. Oh! I have no room to move. There we go. No! Oh. Dick. I wonder if I could either make another workbench, right? Or I guess I can move the one there towards this, right? Fix a roof, but specifically with straw. I'm wondering if I can make like another workbench, right? Is that possible? I mean, I could take the one here with me, but. Doesn't seem to show up as a thing. That and none of the stuff that she was talking about is here. Hmm. She was talking about... What was the specific... She mentioned some specific thing, and I thought I had some of it, but I'm not seeing it now. Blossom, grassy, curly blood, pivots. Uh, maybe I should go talk to her again, because that's not making a whole lot of sense. I thought she mentioned a specific type of, like, grass or something, but... I'm not getting it. Yeah, if I had a workbench over here, that would be great, but I don't. Yeah. That's fur. Watch out. I'm bored. Quest for fur? I think it's one of the Leisure Suit Larrys. Oh, watch out.
kind of getting how the combat works. Oh, I can just climb up that shit? Oh, can I break that for something? There, it's ivy. Okay, that's how you get the ivy. Now I can make cord. All right. There's plenty of it. I remember she mentioned ivy, so now I can make cord, but there was something else that I needed. Use the ivy to make cord, and use that to tie some nice big blocks of straw floor. Right, so I probably have to make cord first, and then I'll get the recipe for straw floor. Quest for, for oh no, I wasn't even thinking about it that way. You are correct. There we go. Oh, wrong button. So I get ten for every three. And now we can make straw floor blocks. Okay. Oh, too much crap. That's what I thought might happen. Yeah, that kind of came out of nowhere, huh? Just draw four. I don't know how many I need, but hopefully ten's good. We'll figure it out, right? Just draw four. Yeah. Oh, open up. I'm not trying to talk to you, goddammit. Rage against Buffalo. So go up to her roof and see about fixing it. See, there's like weapon durability, but they don't... Ooh, critical. They don't ever seem to actually break. Like, I can switch to other ones, but... I don't know. Oh, there was a workbench up here? I should have looked. There we go. It isn't? I'll go figure. I want to see if I can make, like, better... What do I need for... I would need another... I would need a copper ingot for that. Alright. Well, maybe Wayfarer clothes. Well, I need wood for that. This I can make right now. Let's do this. Wayfair's close. It's got to be better than what I have, right? Doesn't it... Should it tell me how much better it is? Defense 1... Oh, okay. It tells you there. All right.
All right, and can I make that doll? I might need it for, I don't know. Might as well. Yeah, it's not gonna, that's not much of a difference, right? My word, you fixed my roof. And what a wonderful job you've done too. I didn't think you had it in you. I should have went up there to look at how many and I would have seen there's a workbench there. Hold on a minute. A human with the power to build, build, build things out of nothing? Don't tell me you're the legendary builder. Don't tell me you're Max Headroom. Oh my. Would you listen to me getting all excited? Don't worry, dearie. Your secret's safe with me. You humans were once so powerful, but now there's hardly anything left of you. Meanwhile, us monsters grow stronger by the day. Truth be told, I can't say I'm happy with this arrangement. I think, think, think this world could do a, with a bit of balance. Now, that's not to say I want to see the whole world crawling with humans, but it'd be a real shame if you all died out. All right, I'll help you. But this is just between you and me, dearie. We wouldn't want the Dragon Lord finding out, now would we? First things first, let me show you how to build, build, build a giant mallet. All right. So now we can make a, and it's an, it is a weapon too. All I need is broken branches, and I got them, so let's do it. Let's make a few, right? Wait. Oh, there you go, right? 96 degrees, Jesus. I know you'd like to see them. if I could take out trees with this now, because that's kind of what the guy was hinting. There's not a whole lot of trees over here, though. I'd have to go to the other side. Oop. Watch out. Asshole. Asshole. I guess it was an outdoor venue, huh? That is a tree. Let's test this theory of mine. What does that say? I love climbing? What's oh, another hammer hood? Maybe I should try to get down there and talk to this dude. Just try and make my way down without getting killed. Hey, you're a human! 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 Don't worry. I'm just like Clobberina. I love humans. But what's a human doing all the way down here? You didn't fall in, did you? Don't worry, human. I'll show you how to climb, climb, climb sheer walls like these, and you'll be out of here in no time. You can make a staircase out of earth or clay blocks, but you can't just plunk, plunk, plunk them in midair. I see a treasure chest. So what you got to do is stick, stick, stick them straight up into the wall. Like this. Yeah, I kind of knew that, to be honest. Oh, look at that. See the life. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> so weird. Oh. All right, that got me out of there. I also want to see if I can take out a tree with this hammer. Yep. 
There's a lot of places in Jersey that has. All right, we got plumberry lumber, and we now can make wood with that. Okay. So you need to make wood blocks. You need a bunch of lumber, probably. This game is really fun. I do gotta stop pretty soon, but it's really cool. There's a, there's a lot of places in Jersey that are absolutely great. You know, nice places. Alright, I could talk to him, but first I want to just kind of see about... Oh, I, I need to make wood first. Wood. Wood, good. Oh, I can make a bench now. And a saloon door. shield. And for leather armor, I would need a copper ingot. We haven't been to mining yet, so, you know. Well, the type of person that would say that was... Oh, God! How'd you get in here? By my knobbly knuckles, Nut Carl, you've done it. You've built a giant mallet. With a hammer like that, you can smash all sorts of things that you couldn't smash up before. But just around here, there are trees and rocks. And though the blue teleportal, there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Ah. Once a clever like lad like you gets his hands on materials like that, well, there's no end to what you might invent. And just think. When you build your new inventions, you might be able to dream up recipes for even more exciting items. Go on, Carl. Head out into the world and swing that mallet all around like there's no tomorrow. Smash up everything you see and pick up all the materials you haven't been able to collect so far. And if you want to... And if you work out how to build new things, waste no time. Build them straight away. That would be... Well, they kind of did it in the movie, right? When they came to their house and it was for sale. But I'd, Yeah, but you want to see old Beavis and Butthead do it, right? Hardwood. To begin with, why don't you try chopping down one of those nearby trees? Alright. I don't really need that, but okay. Alright, let me lighten up the old inventory a bit. Leather sack. Those are decorations, I see. Alright. Uh, monster egg. Where did I get that from? There's one thing I wanted to try before I go out. I want to try and get that, um, my copper so I can make it better armor, right? The fake cookie spray, oh my god, you're right. Like what, can I just... No. Oh, watch out. Ugh. Dick. What an asshole. Alright, where would I find copper? Well, there's rocks here. Stones. I got stones. Okay. I can make a stone sword. And a stone table. And a stone stool. Oh my god, they would do that. And this doesn't taste... Stone steps. And this doesn't taste as good as it smells. Yeah. Maybe it's like, uh... Oatmeal raisin or something. Mason's workstation. Find, where do I find this metal ore? I think I might know where, where though. I don't know where that is right now. Yeah. That it was that pit I fell in. I thought maybe there I could find some metal. What is that?
Oh, it's a dead guy. Looks like this used to be someone's home. If Carl could repair it, he might be able to rest here. Alright, well, I'm not worried about that right now. I just wanna... Oh, hello. Nice crit, though. Huh, huh. God, where was that place that I fell down and there was that hammer hood in there? Oh, here it is. Now I'm getting attacked, so... By a lot of enemies all at once. Dang, ghosts. Right. Yep, I'm noticing I don't have a whole lot of health. I can't use those? Oh no. We good. Yeah, there looks like there's ore down there. Just very carefully. You do replenish health over time in this, I noticed. Copper! There we go. And now I can make a copper ingot. And a forge. I thought this looked like a place where I could mine for materials. Uh, gotta get rid of something, huh? I don't know how to get rid of stuff. Maybe in items? Yeah, this is easy enough to get rid of. Right? Looks like there's another kind of metal over there, too. Coal. Alright, cool. I am glad I... I can make a brazier. I'm very glad I'm able to, like, play this game. Before I end, I'd like to get... A, uh... Nope. Not quite. Whatchamacallit, a, uh... A shield, you know? Upgrade my equipment, at least. Yep, now we found out how to mine. In Minecraft. Dragon Quest Minecraft. I don't know how much of either I'm going to need, but I figure let me grab a bunch, right? Oh, really? reached my way out. Alright. No crypto mining? Hell no, right? 
the hell out of that. Yeah, I'm gonna stop, like, real, like, as soon as I, uh, make what I want to make. Still can't make leather armor. Well, I need copper ingots. Uh, where is that? Copper ingot. Copper ingot. It should be here, right? Oh, you know what? That might be the sort of thing that I have to make at a mason's workstation. Right? I need stone for that, and I don't have enough stone. Hold on. I can grab some stone real quick. Are these considered stone? I guess that's not... Hmm. That's not stone? I just wanted some stone. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. What is this made out of? Whatever it is, I can't grab it because I'm so full of stuff. I just want to see what that is. Stone wall block. Okay. I doubt they would play that, right? Alright, make a workstation. And then, I'm just gonna place this here for now, just to... Oh, you know what? I probably need a forge to make that. And I more, need more stone, so that was actually my bad. I shouldn't have made... need a forge. Alright, we'll figure it out next time. Let me go ahead and rest, and we'll save. And next time we will, uh... Is that stone? We gotta go over the schedule and everything. I'm not trying to talk to you, but alright. There we go. Light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Carl's mind. What is this? I'm just trying to get my health back. Oh, it's showing the past? Beg pardon? The words of the king hath slipped thy mind? Forsooth, what matter of herb art thou to forget such a speech? Permit me to regale thee with uh, his majesty's words once more. In days of yore, thy revered ancestor did receive of the almighty goddess the sphere of light. By its power was our world rid of the menace in which beset it. Yet, alas, some few years passed, there did arise a new threat, the Dragon Lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the sphere of light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should the state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold and our realm perish. So I say unto thee, vanquish the accursed Dragon Lord and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alafgar doth place its trust in thee, hero. Fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. That's fantastic. I was just trying to rest so I could save it. And, you know. It's a memory. Okay. I was just trying to heal. Also, hold on. Um, wait, I really did put that in an awkward place, didn't I? Oop. Oh, oh, that's actually... Well, I'm not looking to cook, but... I just wanted to... There we go. Because I'm sure she put stuff in here. I'm gonna eat this egg. Alright, we good. We totally good. Let's save it. Oh! I didn't, I didn't know she was still alive, to be honest with you. Alright, there we go, guys. 
So, so far it's really fun. That's Dragon Quest Heroes. Uh, we're gonna go over the schedule and then we're gonna do a raid. Don't go anywhere just yet, guys. Please stick around for this raid. We'll shut that down there. Okay, so here's what's going on tomorrow night. This is exciting and scary at the same time. I'm going to be starting Lord of the Rings Volume 1 for SNES, uh, which I've never beaten. I've gotten to the last boss when I was a kid. I got to him, but never beat him. We're going to make a, a like a real attempt to do it. I'll have maps and everything you know, to help me through the game because it is pretty Byzantine. But not a great game, but it should be fun to go through, and it's not very long either. Uh, Friday afternoon, we have more of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind for Steam. Saturday night, more of Xenogears for the PlayStation. Sunday night, more of East 9 Monstrum Nox for, um, for Steam. Monday afternoon, more of Guilty Gear X for the PlayStation 2. Tuesday night, more of Alva's Awakening for Steam. And Wednesday afternoon, a week from today, we will be right back here with more of Dragon Quest Builders for the Switch. So let's head over here and see who we have online that we can raid. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think we'll raid uh, Feel the Niche. He's playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Why not, right? So very dumb. I uh, really stream of consciousness bullshit here. But there's your raid call. Copy that, paste it as we head into Nisha's stream. Um, oh, it's like I said, it didn't even load the ad because I like minimized it right after I brought it up, so it didn't load the ad until I brought the uh, thing back up. Right, well, I've got another two seconds left. There we go. All right, I'll see you guys over there. I'll see you guys tomorrow for. Um, Lord of the Rings and just around in general. Discord and whatnot. Here we go.